Well, I think congratulations are in order for Ghanaian side Dreams FC. They've gone to Mali, Bamako, to defeat Stade Malien, giant Stade Malien by two goals to one in the quarterfinals of the CAF Confederations Cup. So the game was played today, but Dreams FC are champions of the Ghana MC and FA Cup, and they have been colossal in the CAF Confederations Cup this season. And come to think of it, this was a side that was um, contemplating on whether or not to play in the CAF Confederations Cup or not. And this is how far they've come uh, beating sides in Africa. And they've become the first Ghanaian side in over 24 years to win uh, double uh, CAF Confederations or African uh, Continental Games twice on the road. They've beaten Lobito away. They've beaten Stade Malien. Uh, in Mali of all places and they conceded the first goal uh, today in uh, um, Bamako against Stade Malien. Uh, it was a very uh, beautiful free kick, world taking free kick by the uh, Malian side. But then Dreams FC came uh, from behind to win 2-1 in Mali. Uh, so we we have to commend them, especially for taking such a giant uh, step. In, in their Confederations Cup campaign. Uh, it's, it doesn't come easy, you know? It doesn't come easy winning away in a place like Mali. So Dreams FC, congratulations to them. Uh, but you look at the side and clearly, uh, this is a team that is well drilled. And you first of all have to commend Karim Zito. Uh, he's a coach, uh, he's done so much. I was saying on radio the other day, his experience in the Ghanaian game and even on the African terrain, is in no doubt and he leading dreams fc to this and they have helped to change ghana's position i'm talking about ghana league ranking in terms of africa from around 24th to now on 13th because winning games away and home our confederation and champions league and it gives you more points so uh, dreams fc doing that has actually helped uh, ghana uh, in terms of uh, going to the champions league or Confederations Cup. So this was a goer. Uh, Stade Mali and uh, African. So they say the yeah, empty stadium in a lot, especially West Africa. So this was a goal that uh, Stade Mali and scored. Uh, but Dreams FC came from behind to win the game by two goals to one. And this is just the first leg of the game. There, there, there is a very big game to play in Kumase, and they have started calling for. Uh, support for people to come to the stadium to support them but one player that has uh, really added some impetus to a more calf confederations cup campaign no? a experienced player uh john entry uh in the number 11 jc john entry is also the captain of the team uh he's led them scored a brace today including a penalty uh, away but you clearly can see say on so the impacts in the team has been phenomenal we know John Entry in a career, a war, Egypt particularly, where he's very noted for scoring goals. But in the age, and then maybe a wedding or bar back at uh, Dreams FC for the Nekaho, together with the likes of Abu Isa and very notable players in their team. Like I said, they didn't even uh, think of going to the CAF Confederations Cup because it requires a lot of money. But commendations to their management for going because they have really helped to uh, bring back. Uh, in terms of Ghana's position uh, on the African uh, league's ranking, Ghana uh, league na ewo bebiti se 24th, but now Omone Mediema they have really transformed Ghana's position. It was our Champions League, you know. But what I want to say, they say, are there dreams, uh, Mediema? Any of these clubs, you know, Omokwa, any Mako Yema Omopa, Mediema for you, Mubebi Omoko, they went as far back as the. Uh, CAF um, Champions League, you know, almost do a uh, group stage, uh, and it's easy, but I would say, yeah, in big clubs, especially Kotoko, almost um, CAF Confederations Cup and Champions League, a first step now, yeah, boy, matter form. Uh, it's something that I think uh, we will need to uh, really uh, go into that, but it's all good for Dreams FC to get this far. They have a game to play against Tad Mali and home. So, Mutumisha, there are clubs like Zamalik, uh, Berkane, uh, Future Stars, or Monso and Omulu Sutu Zamalik, and uh, uh, Rivers United, uh, Dreams FC, and Omoboyeno, or Monso or Hoba. You see, say, there were 
some uh, Ghanaian fans also uh, in Mali, Bamako, to support Dreams FC. So their their Omo achievement and it wasn't just out of uh, I mean any flu. Omo had the supporters in our it's me ekoya. Omo so eko support to Omo. So this was the support Omo nya wo yeah Bamako. Abra Ghanaian fans or Mudi Echi Koye ni omu omu kru monso Eba asombe support to Dream FC So it was good It's a winner A bit me abusti omu mora Playing home against Stade Malien In the next few days But we need to commend the team for Helping Ghana to get back our position We need to break into the top 12 To be able to get ranked or seeded But Yente coach Karim Zito Coach Karim Zito At the end of the game uh, this was what he had to say uh, because of um, Dreams FC campaign. We know a man for be brave and the experience are coaching also. So let's listen to Coach uh, Karim Zito at the end of the game. You know, these are young boys, and I told them it's because of the game that we are here. We are not here to play for the sake of the game. We are here to play for the sake of the game. We are here to play for the sake of the game. Well, so uh, coach Karim Zito uh, also talking about the experience and the team, no, at the a real mono. Uh, this was also it. Uh, we are very happy with the win because they came here with two men. Well, so that's it. Uh, Dreams FC. Uh, you, you can clearly uh, see from the players. Oma um, blended very well. Young players and old players um, together. Oma um, team quarter final stage. And yeah, is it last time a Ghanaian side be winning? That was even the uh, cup winners cup. Uh, I remember Kim Faisal, Erigau Gatete, and uh, Prince Entry and the other players. Uh, Erigau and Abu Bakar Yahuza. They scored. I think in 2002, I monitored that game very well. Moko shares Zimbabwean side. Uh, was it Power Dynamo? Zewo Harari. 2-1. Uh, Ewo hono omode bafie. Enti Ghana winning away. Ewo African terrain. No? And yet that easy. Enti na Dreams FC diya no twice. Eno omo kwa 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 Ewo away. Ewo this campaign. Omo kwa So they need to be commended for what they've done. But uh, it's not over. Uh, they have to come back home. And try as much as possible. So, Ombe Timenya, a very good scoreline. Never the Ombe Cup semi-final. There are too many big teams uh, or too many big clubs, including Zamalek or the Confederations Cup or Monsunya or Mobeji. You know, Dreams FC. Even if they get to the semi-final, where they have got into uh, is an achievement. Omar Ponchi be above their weight, and this is very, very incredible feat for all the players. And and Yemwan says some of them young players there will get the opportunity uh, in other big clubs, not even in Africa in Europe because of what they have they are noted to do until Yembo Mabaso especially the coach Karim Zito and then the assistant the technical team and uh, Fred Achi uh, who is also I think the leader of delegation or the you know uh, this is something that uh, Obia or can be a Yembo Mabaso from how they qualified uh, from the groups to the quarterfinals now they are they are heading to the omunai bakusi semi-final it's also good because we are waiting for the black stars to play in mali dreams fc uh, aqua koshe yeah transfer black stars to be boy in mali na yehu hawa uh you beat me after the world cup qualifying campaign or uh, at least yeah who say uh they are they, they are capable of being beaten at home or any side uh so this was the goal i'm going to share it again uh before say bedrock getting down just to commend dreams fc for what they've done uh in this uh game especially baby yeah on one casa so it's me i'm going to take the market show away i'm going to move back home i'm going to come to jane baby yeah i'm going to be an interest in the coach leading them i am a tactical very very good tactician i will name ghana given a very well you know yeah more about so but dreams fc uh, well of course this is a cider and uh, make us a normal uh, dream was on back africa now monk now they are in it already or more aqua could do quarter final stage or monaco semi-final they can even win it but you have one game at a time congratulations to them uh, they also have in their fold a uh, confederations cup winner uh, sani mohammed uh, former uh, asante kotoko has a full goalkeeper now they 
Omoje Confederations Cup in Kumase in 2005. He's part of the team, so uh, no wonder. Say experience and uh, but the way the team is built from the management to the technical team to the playing body, you know, is strategically done, and I think uh, it's contributed immensely uh, towards their uh, campaign so far. Congrats to them, and uh, we wish them the best of luck returning home. And then the Kumasi game should be massively attended to support them, uh, not only for themselves, but they are winning the points for Ghana. Uh, or the league rankings, a bit me a boy, me saying, yeah, double uh, clubs in confederation and in Champions League uh, very soon, like we used to have. Congrats to them, Coach Karim Zito, Babana, uh, Nyamin Shabibri.